Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This uh, video we are going to discuss about AWS Cloud Shell uh, is a command line access to AWS resources tool directly from a browser. So this is similar like a Google Cloud. We have a Google Cloud Cloud CLI and even Amazon also, uh, sorry, Azure also we have a Azure CLI. So the same Cloud CLI, uh, the same way Amazon come up recently, I think 10 days back, Amazon launched for the AWS Cloud Shell. AWS Cloud Shell is a browser based shell that makes easy to secure, manage, explore, and uh, interact with uh, your AWS services. So Cloud Shell, there, as part of the Cloud Shell, uh, there is a pre-authentication uh, pre with your console credentials. So, so by default, if you manage uh, any service, we don't want to specifically create the IAM user and give the specific access to particular user. Then from there, uh, again, we have to launch one more, any server OS, we have to install the uh, specific uh, or Python or AWS CLI or uh, any other softwares. We don't want to do anything as part of the cloud shell. Uh, by default, we have we are going to get the authentication specific region at the same time, pre-installed softwares, uh, similar like uh, AWS CLI and uh, ECS CLI and uh, Python or Node.js, these kind of, uh, 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 softwares is coming as part of the uh, cloud shell. Okay, so if you go back and see, uh, you can you, you can see here. So when you quickly run the script AWS command line interface, they expect AWS service API using AWS SDK. Use the range of other tools. You can you can cloud shell right from the browser. So there is no extra cost. So we can launch the AWS uh, uh, cloud shell. We don't want to pay any extra cost to Amazon by default. When you launch the cloud shell, by default, the Amazon uh, two Linux is going to launch. So as part of the server, so we are going to get the two CPUs, uh, uh, sorry, one CPU, two GB RAM, and one GB of the persistent volume. So it means, so in the locally where we are running the command line, we are going to get the one GB. So out of one GB, uh, we have to add the extra one. So by default, we have one GB. That is uh, sufficient why? because we don't store any data in the cloud shell. So we are going to keep only for the specific any files. Uh, if you want to run anything Python or we are going to write uh, files into locally, we are going to keep, we are not going to store any data into the cloud shell. Okay, let's understand the, see what are the softwares which is coming as part of the cloud shell. So if you go back and see here, so where the cloud shell not specific uh, AWS cloud shell compute environment specification softwares. If you go back and see here, there is a pre-installed software is coming. If you go back, uh, you can see here compute environment resources. Each AWS cloud shell compute environment is assigned to following CPU and memory. You can see one CPU and two GB of RAM, RAM is coming. In addition, we have one GB of persistent storage. Store the persistent after the session is ends. So when you close the session, we are going. To, so when you when you shut down the uh, when you delete the once you once you done your work when you take it out the coming out the cloud shell by default it's going to take it out the one GB of the uh, everything is going to destroy we are going to lose everything okay let's come down there is a pre-installed software coming as part of the cloud shell if you can if you can see here uh, as part of the shell so we are going to get the bash and powershell and uh, jet shell and uh, there is a command line interface command line interface aws cli and uh, eb cli and uh, amazon cli sorry amazon eca cli and uh, AWS SAM CLI. Okay. So on the same time, we are going to get the runtime and AWS SDKs. So software development kits as part of them. We are going to get the Python 3 and Node.js. So and again, if you scroll down, if you scroll down, so we can see there is a development tools also which is coming as part of them. So you can see uh, git and the pip uh, and uh, input to JQ and make man. So these are the called development tools, HH, sudo, tar, uh, tmax, and unzip, vm, wget. So unzip or GIF. So these are the all coming as part of the cloud shell. So pre-installed as part of uh, cloud shell. Let me go ahead and launch the cloud shell. You can see AWS launched, I think around five regions. If you go and see, we have a North Virginia and Hawaii and US West and uh, Ireland also launched. So let, let me go back. Now I am in the Ireland region. So let me go ahead and launch the, you can see the corner here, the checkbox. Let me go ahead and launch the cloud shell here. When you launch the cloud shell, you can see, welcome to AWS cloud shell. This will take a few minutes to launch. Now we can see, uh, now, we, now we are in the part of cloud shell. So if you can see, now if I enter AWS, you can see, uh, you can see it's coming as part of the cloud shell. And again, if we can see when you enter Python 3, so you can see uh, Python 3 also coming as part of this one. OK, 
ஓகே எனக்கு இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு சேஞ்ச் சம்திங் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு சேஞ்ச் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் சேஞ்ச் சம்திங் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் சேஞ்ச் சம்திங் யூ கேன் கோ ஹெட் அண்ட் சேஞ்ச் இட் ஹியர் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு சேஞ்ச் சம் செட்டிங் கோ பேக் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் சேஞ்ச் த ஃபாண்ட் சைஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபாண்ட் சைஸ் யூ கேன் கோ ஹெட் அண்ட் சேஞ்ச் ஃப்ரம் லீடியர் லார்ஜ் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் சேஞ்ச் த ரேடியோ பிஸ் கான்ஷுவல் தீம் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் கோ பேக் லாக் light or dark whatever it is so let me go back and see something uh, here and actions you can see uh, the new tab if you open the new tab so we are going to get the new tab same similar tab but the one thing which i like here when you open the new tab for the google cloud or something the existing tab is going to close and again it's going to launch the new tab other browser but here aws environment we don't want to the existing tab also available but the same time new tab also available okay that's the one thing which i like it here the other thing split into the rows if you split into the so we can run the command we can see the log file here the the same way we can okay that's the one thing which i like it the other thing is so the other thing if you want to download any files so, so download means so the same path uh, specific path we can go ahead and download the file so from from cloud shell to your desktop you can download at the same time if you want to uh, upload any files from your desktop to cloud shell we can go ahead and uh, select the files we can download we sorry we can upload uh, the other thing the, the other thing the other thing which i like actually so we discussed it. as part of the cloud shell you can see here there is a pre authentication the cloud shell is a pre authenticated pre authenticated with your console credentials so what does mean now i have one ec2 instance now if i would like to bring start the services so if i want to start the service for the so let me take this one go to the cloud shell if you want to start the services aws ec2 uh, when you say let me start the server st start so take the ifn ifn instance ids let me take this one so this is a, this is a, this is the syntax if you want to start let me go ahead and grab the instance id for the specific ec2 instance this this instance which is created in the same region so within the same region by using aws service we can manage the any service with command line tool okay so we don't want to create any specific iom user so generally if you want to manage any services we have to install somewhere aws cli from there uh, let's say you have installed aws cli somewhere in the server we have we want to create one IA, we want to create one iam user that iam user should have give the specific service or admin privileges then only we can manage but by using aws cloud shell by default we are going to get the pre authentication for all the amazon services within the specific region okay when you say yes so if you can see so now we can see uh, so i didn't create anything so by default only getting you now we can see current state is stopped and now it current state it is pending the previous state is stopped now if you go back and see let me refresh it now we can see uh, aws instance is coming up now we can see st- st- running now if you want to bring down again when you say yes now again it's going to down now we can see it's going to stop so uh, that's what uh, that's what i want to say for this uh, session i hope you guys uh, uh, it's useful for this video for everyone uh, please do like and share and subscribe my channel thank you